and girls, hello my fabulous fifth graders. We are working on standard, the first standard in the numbers and operations in base 10 domain. This is the Georgia Standard of Excellence, fifth grade, numbers and operations in base 10, and this is the first standard in this domain. Now this standard says, recognize that in a multi-digit number, a digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents in the place to its right. And one-tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Now this standard built up from fourth grade. The same NBT1, but in fifth grade we're adding this second part. I have down here the fourth grade standard, so if you guys can remember the connection, you can even go to my fourth grade page and watch the video on GSC 4 MBT1 as a refresher to see how we're going to build up to the fifth grade MBT1 standard, which is awesome because I told you guys so many times before, every year your, your lessons and the standards that you learn, they're building up to the next grade level. And this is a prime example of how the fourth grade MBT1 standard builds up to the fifth grade MBT1 standard. Awesome. Now, the lesson objective is to recognize the 10 to 1 relationship among place value positions. Okay? The fourth grade standard says, and I want you to see right here and right here as I'm reading it. Look at the fifth grade standard all the way to where I stop highlighting it. Okay, what I highlighted in yellow is the same thing as what I'm going to read down here. So follow along here as I read down here. Recognize that in a multi-digit whole number, a digit in any one place represents 10 times as much what it represents in the place to its right. In fifth grade, they decided to add on a little extra piece to it. Now we're talking about one-tenth of what it represents in that place to its left. So see how the standard builds upon each other from each grade level? Fourth grade, we talked about 10 times as much as the place value to its right. Now we're talking about one-tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Okay? Say for a quick example, we have some bad. The numbers... 888. This 8 is in the ones place. This 8 is in the tens place. And this 8 is in the hundreds place. Hopefully, you guys can see that. But what I want to show you is. What I want to show you guys is that in fourth grade, we know that the, the value of this eight in the ones place is eight. And the value of this eight in the tens place is 80. And the value of the eight in the hundreds place is 800. Now, every place value Every digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents in the place to its right. So, 80 is 10 times more than 8. 800 is 10 times more than 80. Because all you're doing is multiplying the next digit by 10 to get the digit to the left. So, how did I get 80? I multiplied 8 times 10 and got 80. Then I multiply 8, 80 times 10 to get 800. Now, if the next digit that will be here will be 8,000, the value of the next digit will be 8,000, the digit will be 8. And because I multiply 800 by 10 to get the next place value, which is 
the 8,000th place. So, and one digit place represents 10 times as much as it represents in the place to its right. So that's just a quick refresher of what we did in fourth grade. Now we're going to move on to the fifth grade portion of this standard. And it's combined them both. So what I have here is a basic place value chart. I want you guys to take the time to copy this down in a minute. And then I'm going to put some stuff up here first in purple color. And then once I put this up, I'm going to tell you guys to pause it, copy all of this down. Copy all of this down, and then I can erase it, and we can begin the lesson, and you guys can see the correlation each standard has with one another. All right, so let's begin. I have this column right here is the number, and we're going to have four that we're going to work with. The second column represents ten times as much. So whatever this number is, we're going to multiply that number by ten to see what it is. So this number is going to be multiplied by 10 to get this one right here in this column. In order to get this number right here, we're going to take the number and we're going to divide that by 10. Because a tenth of, a, of this number is going to be less than the original number. And 10 times means it's going to be greater than that. So anytime you want to find 10 times a number, you're going to multiply that number by 10. Anytime you want to find one tenth of a number, you're going to take that number and you're going to divide that by 10 to get the answer. So you can use a place value chart, but I think this is much simpler to use and quicker for you guys to understand the relationship of 10 times and one tenth of a number. So we're going to start here. I'm going to let you pause it. I have to move this chart up some more because it's more down here. There's a second um, table. So I want you guys to pause the video and copy this down. And then we're going to move on. I'm going to erase it and then draw it up some more. We're going to represent the number as n, okay? So we're going to take n, multiply n by 10 to get this value. And then we're going to do the same thing here. n is going to represent the number, but we're going to divide that number by 10, which represents a fraction of what is to the left, okay? Now, we're going to take n, which is this number right here, 70, and we're going to put 70 right here in place of n. So 70, oh, I'll make that, well, this sign. 70 times 10 equals, remember, we have two zeros, 1, 2. So 7 times 1 is 7. Add those two zeros. So 700 is 10 times more than 70, okay? So we're going to take n here, 70, let's do a different color in blue, 70 divided by 10 is 7. Now I wonder if you guys can realize another thing that I'm doing. When I'm taking a fraction of it off, I'll show you guys this later. Let's just keep moving on. And I wonder if you'll see the pattern in a minute. We have 3,000 as our number. So we're going to take, I'm going to make the thing that smaller. We're going to take 3,000, and we're going to multiply that by 10 to get 30,000. I went from three zeros, let me do that another color. 
I went from three zeros to four zeros. I went from one zero to two zeros. You guys seeing it? Now, in order to get one tenth of 3,000, 3,000 is in. We're going to divide 3,000 by 10, and we are going to get 300. I went from three zeros to four zeros, and then to show one tenth, I went from three zeros to two zeros. Let's do another one. 10. Well, 10 times 10 equals 100. Then I'm going to take 10 as my number again. Now I'm going to divide that by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. Now the number 900, 900 is in. I'm going to take 900, multiply 900 by 10, because 900 is in our number. Not Nine hundred times ten is nine thousand. Now we're going to take nine hundred into the fraction of nine hundred. So nine hundred divided by ten equals ninety. So I wonder if you guys picked up the relationship. I went from one zero to two zeros, three zeros to four zeros, one zero to two zeros, two zeros to three zeros. When you're multiplying the number by showing 10 times as much, you're going to the next place value to the left. Now, when you want to show one tenth of that number, you're going to go one tenth to its right. So you're going to see, okay, let me move back to my right. Oh, the value, the place value before 70 is in the ones place. So that would be seven. It's all about knowing your place value. If you know your place value is pretty, what, pretty good, pretty well, you will be able to determine 10 times as much in one tenth or a fraction or a tenth of the value of a number. So we have down here 80,860 and then 400. We have four different values. I want you guys to pause the video, copy this down, fill this chart in, and all I'm going to do is just write the value of 10 times as much and what it would be as one tenth, okay? So I'm not gonna write the actual problem down to get the value. I'm just going to write the value, the, vol, the values here. What this represents as 10 times and what each one of these represents as one tenth, okay? So pause the video and start copying. All right, let's go ahead and fill our chart in and check and see if you got the same answer as I am going to put up here. I'm going to write all of it. I'm going to do a little pattern. Oh, purple, orange, purple, orange. So 10 times 80,000 800,000. One tenth of 800,000 is, what 80,000 is, 8,000. 800, 10 times 800 is 8,000. One tenth of that would be 80. We have 60. 
10 times that is 1 tenth of 60 is. And for 400, 10 times that is 4,000. 1 tenth of 400 is 40. So I'm pretty sure you guys got all of this correct. If you did, pat on the back, bravo. Ask mom and dad to get you a Snickers or a Twix or a Kit Kat or some Skittles or a Starburst. Something that makes you go, ha, 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 when you take a bite out of it. And this is what we have for this standard. It's not that hard. I believe using this chart and putting 10 times as much and one tenth will really help you understand how much the value is when it's 10 times as much and then one tenth. So 10 times 70, that's in the tens place value. If it's 10 times, it's going to be in the hundreds place value. That means I'm going to move to the left, and that's going to show me 700. If I want to see one tenth of that, it's going to be a lesser value. So one tenth of 70, I'm moving one place to the right of 70, and that's going to be the ones place value. So that 10 is going to be representing 7, just like what we did right here. So, let's go ahead and do one more, where I just write a value, what is 10 times? And then what is one tenth of it? Oops. making these numbers up just now just to give you guys some extra practice copy this down if you want to so 10 times as much as 500 will be 5,000 10 times as much as 30 will be 300 and 10 times as much as 9 million will be 90 million one tenth will be a 500 will be 50. One tenth of 30 will be 3. And then one tenth of 9 million will be 900,000. So let's recap. We just recognize that in a multi digit number, a digit in one place represents 10 times as much in the place to its right, and one tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Remember, this is standard GSC 5 NBT1. So we think of NBT1, remember, oh, that's the 10 times and one tenth that we're working with. I hope you guys had a good time watching this video. If there's something in this video that you don't understand, rewatch it again. And if you still don't get it, rewatch it again. And if you still don't get it, use your unit plan. Go to those Learn Zillion videos and use that. And watch some of those videos under that standard. And I will have quizzes for you guys to take when you're ready next week. Also, if you just don't understand it, please sign up for Davis Direct on my website. And I'll be more than happy to help you, okay? Awesome. Have a good weekend.